you guys. Be back. Really, Miss Nate is to the 36. He's gonna continue his series. The 36. He gives me back, sliding his mouth over my with his side of relief. Jay was intoxicating like a drug. I didn't know I was addicted to it until it was too late. When he pulled back, I realized something terrifying. What I wanted was the choice to walk away from him and whatever this was between us. A choice that wasn't infected by Marafia or Don Russell. But the terrifying part was that I didn't know what choice I would make. Don Russell cleared that clear his throat and Jill's arm went back around my shoulders. His position shifted into a false confidence. I appreciate your concern, Don Russell, I said, but I assure you there is nothing to be concerned about. Other than Gio, after I ripped him a new one for how he behaved to me. And your sister, two pairs of eyes snapped up at the Don's question. My own, my own and, and a pair of blue ones. Has opened his mouth as though he were going to answer, but Don Russell lifted a finger to silence him. I swallow. What about her? She was here tonight, yes. She saw these events unfold. Yes, but she how am I supposed to be assured of her discretion on the matter? I'll speak with her, Cass offered. You and not. I snapped at him, then turning back to the Don. She'll be discreet. She didn't, didn't see anything other than Gio to kick the ass of a guy who was dancing with me. Gio scoffed as, as, at the word trying and I resisted the urge to glare at him. My heart was pounding too fast to, to contemplate anything else. Then RJ tucked away safe in my apartment. I was still in the building that he owned. Jill clears throat, standing and holding his hand out for me. Her sister is not a problem, nor will she be. So, if you excuse us, I believe we have an argument to resume upstairs. Brother, damn straight we do. Then Russell nodded his head, waving us away with a flit of his hand. My heart was still in my in my ears as we started to walk away from the booth. As we started to walk away from the booth. What why was the Don so keen to get between Jill and I? Was it surely because he was interested? Or could he see me for hit for the liar I was? Cast called out for us to wait as we started to descend the stairs. I wasn't going to stop, but Jill took my hand, all but forcing me to turn and face his nephew. Maybe not. Can we have a word? No. Thank you for the offer. I turned again to walk away from Cass, but Jill was still holding my hand. He gave me an a perceptible smile, asking with his eyes for me to head Cass out. I glared at him, then groaned. Fine, two minutes. Jill squeezed my hand, stepping the rest of the way down the stairs to give us some privacy. It was odd. We both knew that we were about to fight with each other as soon as we were in private. But it, it felt less daunting after our moments with the dawn. Cast wrapped at the back of his neck. Looking, I so saw he wished he were anywhere else when I look up at and glare at him. You're dating my uncle, you're in love with my uncle, and yet you won't allow me with an inch of your sister. I nodded, correct on all counts. Cast eyes narrow, and you don't think that's strange or hypocritical? No. Maybe not, he groaned. Come on, we worked together at one point. I thought you and I were going to be friends. I want to get to know your sister. Is that so wrong? Yes. 
He muttered as a slew of curses, his fist hidden by his sides. Maybe I should have felt threatened by, the, by this six foot something criminal. But my six foot something criminal was waiting at the bottom of the stairs and would definitely kick his ass. I can't stop thinking about her. He hissed under the breath, his control breaking. Since the first night I met her, I can't stop. This is, this is normal for me, okay? I don't know what to do about it, and I don't like it anymore that you do. <laughs> I can't do anything about it, but Jesus forbidding me, just tell him. I held my hand up, silencing him. You're not good for her, Cass, I said, and you're right at one point. I wanted us to be friends. It still can be, but Audrey is off the end. What gives the what gives you the right to make that choice for her? Because of what happened to me. Do you think I would let anybody I care about into a situation like that again? The two of us were silent in for a long moment, staring at each other. Cass finally broke the silence by dropping a bomb in my lap. He said, my father already asked me to ensure Audrey stays quiet. The discussion was merely a courtesy. And then he walked back up the stairs to the other Russells, leaving me standing on the stairs, cursing myself. Cass knew that he, that Cass knew what he done. I couldn't ask Jeff you to forbid him for seeing Andre anymore. John Russell was at the top of the hierarchy. There w was nothing I could do, aside from warning my sister. But if I w warn her again, she went to know the whole truth. I seen the look in her eyes when Cass was around. A warning without the truth would do little, little to dissuade her from wanting him. Joe and I were silent on the walk back to my apartment while my head tried to work out my next steps. My temples dropped with all of the events from tonight. When we arrived at the door, he leaned against the wall, upright, up praising me with camera eyes. He's the best of his his he's the best one of us, Gio said, surprising me. He won't hurt her. Just be around this, it puts her at risk. Whether he does it just directly or indirectly, he he's going to hurt her. Do you think I hurt you? We really did, I remember today. The words hung between us, our earlier fight and words that were said in front of the dawn. Took a tentative step toward me, and when I didn't move away, he cupped my cheeks in his palm. Me, this place, trusty, can still amor me. His language, and to the party. After what you done, after what you you told me, after what you told me about your dad with Marafi, something like that tonight will happen again. I know that, but say yes. It was something like it. But say yes. It will. And then like this will happen again because it's in your DNA, in your job description. Hell, it's even mine. But I can, I can't do it anymore. If if what? If you're not real, 
you to you. This us. He was silent. This expression unreadable. Is that what you want? For us to be real? But God, what's, what a question. My instincts screen not but every other nerve and in my body. And they in my body was shouting yes. What was the use in pretending? But what's the use in pretending anymore? I couldn't even muster enough energy to pretend like I wanted him to say that it was real between us so I could finish my work from Rafi. I wanted did it to be real because it's already real to me, I whispered. Instead of speaking, he lowered his mouth down onto me. With such a fever, I wonder if the hall carpet will catch on fire. His fingers were everywhere, digging into my skin, and pressing me back against the wall. I see deep in the kiss. My body reacted to him like a magnet, being pulled across this trail. The dance we, we, we was becoming instinctual. The feeling of his curls in my fingers was becoming me familiar. I crave the taste of him. The feeling of his tip of his lips dragging down my neck that I clung to broad the muscular shoulders. I took that as a yes. I managed to stay in between his kiss. I pulled back for a moment with a smirk. Just a Santa Real for me, the Kondo, a Biama, Fermato, Il Contracto, Lucina. The Italian was raspy, striking something with me. See, yes, Lucina, this is real to me. His finger moved a lock of hair out of my eyes. I would get to each other for a long time. He pulled it in my lower belly at the desire in his eyes. I swallowed past the thickness in my throat and tried to think rationally. My sister's waiting for me. I breathe. We can turn in. I can fuck you in the hallway. He suggested. He suggested. The elevator? My apartment? Yeah, I'm pleased and I'll buy it right now. The price laugh left my lips and Joe went when then leaned forward to kiss my lap. Careful, Mr. Russell, you don't want to seem too eager. Fuck that. He shook his head still, grinning. I've been willing lean to fuck you since the moment you negotiated that deal with him. I've been thinking about the way you taste since the last time you had me on my knees. The dirty words were cut off by my apartment door, swinging up to review a white eye artery. During that day, I would just step in and stay away from each other as the star broke with her silly appearance. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I heard voices and, well, clearly I was right, so I'll just, um, leave, leave you, leave you to it. Audrey? turned on her heel and walked straight back into the apartment with a bright red face. Your chuckle a little and gave and gave me a swift just kiss. So so us with this so us with his earlier words. And you should you sleep he kissed me again. As if he come as if because he merely could another turn and I let turn the door not before it's glancing back at me. So, does this mean we'll be renegotiating our no feelings agreement? I guess. N no feelings agreement? I asked. And Jill smirked. I believe I reached that deal the moment we made it. And every second after it, too. Uh, if I really stay safe and be kind, my friends. I'm about to discover a new apartment. I'll do my mom if I get home this soon. And I guess probably the car will be fixed to discover a new apartment. And I guess probably the car will be fixed to discover a new apartment.